It's Angry Ranner Gaming, you son of a bit. <laughs> Yo, what's going on there, YouTube? It's your boy, Marcus Levy, Angry Ranner here for episode number 112 of Let's Play Fallout 76. Uh, I wanted to see what this was. Is that uh enemy? Or not? Or is that a traitor? Because if that's just a tra- Chally the Moo Moo. Okay, it appears he's a traitor. I want to see... Okay, so he's got three diluted stims. That I'm in definite need of. What else do you have? You have a couple of 556 rounds. That's okay, I got a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to see what you have. <laughs> yes, that's fine. Uh, painted, painted wooden doors. You know what? Yes, I'll do it. <laughs> Every once in a while, you want <laughs> mystery candy? Who knows what'll happen? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll take a camo bandana as well. I think that'd be okay. All right. Thank you for your service, sir. Ha! Huh. I just got Chally's milk, which... <laughs> Let me see. Removes 25 rads, decreases thirst and hunger. Fuck, they disappeared. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome back to the show. Welcome back to the episode. Uh, I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna knock back this. Which will help me out, but unfortunately, I'm still suffering from blood worms. Which means I take 25% damage. <laughs> um, I know it's kind of stupid, but I'm going to fast travel like just 5 seconds away from me. Only because I'm making a coffee here at my desk where I'm playing the game. And I just want to go to a safe place for a second. <laughs> The only issue is, and I... Ugh, crap. Oh, okay, look at that. Okay, okay, okay. Bloodworms, 28 more minutes. That's... Okay, that's fine. Unless I have a disease cure right now, which I unfortunately don't. I'm glad to know that... Um, I'm glad to know that I can, <laughs> in fact, be okay. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, Yo, okay. So let's start with, very quickly, gonna go to my notes here, gonna... Go to the painted wooden doors. Uh, can I take a look? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that what they meant? <laughs> oh, look at this. Okay, hold on. Old door. Um, okay, stop. I'm going to scrap the door. <laughs> but... I can have different doors. <laughs> a lavatory. Yeah, sorry, com Commander, I'm trying to build a door here. <laughs> Need. Oh, I'm building a door. Fuck me. Guys. What the fuck? <laughs> First of all. I'll take that. <laughs> First of all, what the fuck? Number two, I can clearly tell that's the corner they're coming from. So. Oh, exceeds maximum build count. Uh, and this one requires level two home defense. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to start putting a few of these little fucking. Oh, I've already got one. Okay. I really hope that it won't damage me if I do it. But there. They appear to be coming from that side. So there you fucking go. But now, that's not what I'm here to do. <laughs> I want to craft. But also, was able to build a, new do a newer and better different painted door. Uh, because now I want that. So stop. Scrap that shit. Nope. Uh, that'll be a green door. 
And of course, <laughs> uh, don't think I ever built stairs to here. Just some little concrete buggers. Uh, I'm also going to take this and move it there. Because don't really know how I'm going to build a fucking door if I... No, oh, damn it. Uh-oh! Listen up, Froggito. Stop fucking the track on my goddamn turret. Stop attacking my fucking turret. You stupid rad toad. <laughs> okay. I have an idea. Hold on. I'm moving you here. And then you clearly aren't doing anything. So, I'm gonna move you here. Okay. Then you... I'm going to move to here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Glad to know that my disease goes away, though. But also now the door's on this side. But that's a nicer door. In my opinion. <laughs> a much nicer door. Okay. <laughs> Want to see if I can craft anything. <laughs> uh, okay, I can craft gunpowder. Uh, forest disease cure requires blood leaf and fire cap. All drinks. I can't make purified water because I need dirty water and a water filter. And I don't have a water filter. Smelting, for some reason, is a thing I can do, so... <laughs> make some lead scrap. I can make steel scrap. I can make... Black titanium scrap. <laughs> well, I can make a uh, gas grenade from here. But also, making lead scrap is kind of a big fucking deal, Commander, because I can make this shit. Like that. <laughs> I can make more of these. Okay. Alright, Commander. Have fun. <laughs> I'm gone. And I'm gone on an adventure. Okay. I, I have no idea what, like possessed me to build this but i fucking did and that's okay <laughs> all right so a so now when i go to food and drink i've got honey <laughs> uh <laughs> knock back some grilled rad roach and uh let's go with i don't need a drink my guy's fine oh well i'll take another honey okay I've put some extra defenses, <laughs> just in case, but where I need to go, which way is it? It's this way, right? Well, I don't, I don't think that I'm going that direction by approaching the farm. Yeah, okay, so hold on. So now I'm on back with the farm to here. Rad toad, rad toad. Approach the base! Approach the base! Help me! Really? Oh, I was like, I thought I told your bitch ass to reload before. Okay. Yeah, see, when I'm close to home, he it had... I did not fire that. He did that on his own. When I'm close to home, the game has very little detection ability to be able to sense which direction I'm facing. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way, okay. And I'm not going to the radiation rumble event, but we're going here. So that's Watoga Emergency Services, which I apparently have encountered before. But we're headed to find to find a Robo Brain Interpolator. Interpolator in this direction. There are some rads in this area. But I'll take the 45s. My skill of unlock is two, so that ain't gonna be a fucking problem. <laughs> Stimpack and dirty water. Wow, this is another little area that I can... I can loot. Holy shit. And it's right near my fucking house. 
Don't know how I didn't notice this. Okay, well, excuse me, very quickly, I suppose, I'll make my way back to my house. So I can not carry some of this shit. Cranberry moonshine, doll. Considering my house is literally within eye shot. Oh, we gotta watch out, though. We got these fucking things here. Oh! I just can't shake these One of these days, Commander, I'm gonna help you. It's just when I had to go and do the thing for you, it was not good. It was not easy. Okay. Scrapping a bunch of items. Stashing them. Under the food and drink. Oh, how much... How much boiled water have I got? None? Okay, well, you're getting five. <laughs> five fucking boiled water. And under these aid. That's a medics. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, I'm putting three diluted stims back. <laughs> okay, I'm gone, Commander. He says again. Okay, since I'm still at my home, I'm going to uh, put cream in this coffee now. And take a second to just enjoy the view. <laughs> just a while I put some table cream in here. <laughs> and my coffee. Alright. <laughs> Stir it round. I am very pleased with what we've managed to build. Yes, I'm no Fallout expert or anything like that, but I'm still proud of what we've managed to build <laughs> and create in this universe. And the fact, of course, we're now 112 episodes into a series that I didn't know, based on how crappy my internet is, if I'd be able to even get it off the ground, but the fact that I'm... And, of course, you guys have probably noticed, uh, <laughs> I decided, um, after about 100 episodes or so, I was going to change the thumbnail up. So I did. And I'm going to do that roughly every 100 episodes. It'll be whatever chapter... Uh, a new hundredth barrier is broken. And like what I said, in order to give some finality, some finality to the game itself, to what we're doing, <laughs> uh, I made just the, the outright... I want to see how much longer on the, the blood worms here. 18 minutes. And we're halfway to the next level. How much health do I have? 315. Not bad. But yeah, I want to get all the other skills up to uh, up to 7. So I'm not going to touch Charisma now, again. I'm going to leave it. Because <laughs> I think it's at 12. Yeah, it is. So I want to get Strength to 7, Perception and Endurance. So, so it'll be <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 more levels before I want to put Charisma up to 15. <laughs> Which will basically, you know, put us almost at level 50 by that point in time. <laughs> and once we hit level 50, then maybe I can start fucking around with, like, custom uh, special loadouts and stuff like this. But I am not in a position... I'm not honestly in a position where, despite this game being one of my favorite games, I'm not in a position where I play this enough to do things that daily players who put hundreds and hundreds of hours into this game uh, <laughs> can do. But bearing in mind, of course, we've put in, what, almost si 60 hours. It's like a green cloud out there, and I just want to get a view of it. Let me go on top of this rock here. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that. Um, actually, better view from over here. <laughs> Jump in Jesus. Just ask yourself the question. What does the rad situation... look like from there? 
<laughs> oh, use photo mode around the Savage Divide region. Christ, look at that. Just keep earning these things. Okay. Didn't know this was Savage Divide. Of course, where we're going is hopefully around all of this. <laughs> Good. Kersploosh. Okay. But, uh, yeah, like, I don't, I don't have the ability to, you know, build the most class, build the classiest home that, that I'll, I'll be visiting daily and everything. But what I like to do is build something functional for the kind of adventure that we're having. Because I'm playing Fallout 76 for the adventure. I kind of feel I'm about to fall through. Thank you, Hit Detection, for doing a little better this time. Okay. <laughs> kind of just pick my favorite weapons, and I go, and like I said, to add a little bit of finality to the game, and I realize, don't think I said that, uh, got through that statement uh, before I saw that green cloud. Um, <laughs> honestly, we... Uh, <laughs> are are going to finish as much of the we're going to finish the main story and then that will be sort of the end point of what I'm going to call um you know episode 1 or not episode 1 but like the first major saga of 76 <laughs> and then you know give the game exactly a year and come back to it and uh then we'll do like side stuff and they'll have had time to add more things to the game i still have no idea when when oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god it's a death claw it's a diseased alpha death claw which, as much as I can kill those things, there are creatures you just don't want to keep encountering. <laughs> now, I'm already diseased, and I don't know if this game can pile on diseases. I'm pretty sure it can. But I'm trying to get somewhere, and I've got still, what, 13 more minutes with my blood worms. And so I really do not want to encounter something... That'll make this take longer. Mm. Okay, good. To somebody who maybe picked up 76 and never played Skyrim, you wouldn't quite understand how I climb up and down mountain ranges to do as limited damage to myself as possible. Or that one time, not that long ago, be it last episode or the one before that, where I tried to hop that ridge and totally fucking almost killed myself. Or that other time where I fell off the ridge and killed myself. Which was totally unintentional. Because <laughs> you have to play Skyrim to understand the mountain climbing physics of Bethesda. Because they have not changed in 10 years. But I remember, and this is the thing that I love about Bethesda. You know, sure, you look really close at this that don't look that realistic. Because I'm not playing it with the, like, the highest settings. But... Close your, open your mind to immerse yourself into this world, and you're there. I feel like I'm wandering Appalachia every time I'm playing this game. And Skyrim felt the same way for me too. When, you know, when, when I bought it, put it in a, put it in on Xbox 360, and played it for the first time. You know, I've put in hundreds of hours into Skyrim, and I can never do that again. I can never put those hundreds of hours in again. But when when you step away from Skyrim for a time and come back to it, the world is just as immersive as ever. And at the very beginning of this year, I had a quest to try to put a thousand hours into Skyrim. But I think I, you know, told myself that I, there were too many things I wanted to do. So I managed to put in a hundred hours. Just ten percent of that. In a short range of time. Uh-oh. 
with the ferals. Uh oh. You're gone. You ferally fuckheads. You ferally fuckhead. Yo, that's his bitch ass. Oh, there's a rat away there. There's a bib all there. Better not be another one of yous. Rest in peace, Raider. Zuh. Cryo grenade. Two empty fucking duffels. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Tons and tons of yeetables. I forgot. Did I equip? Yeah, I did. How do I cancel it? No! Good job. Just wanted to make sure I had them equipped. Because those cryo grenades are going to come in real handy. Shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting ghouls. Ho! Oh. Cash them in. Yeah, they're not going to make it. <laughs> bye bye, fuckheads. You're dead. And you're dead. And there was another one, but he's dead somewhere. Way to fuck back over here, and I couldn't find him. Can't find him. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Top of the ridge. Top of the ridge to you. Oh, Jesus. What's this? I'm gonna be cautious because half of this is clearly, you know, made. Oh. Oh, I guess it's, uh. for an advert or something. Wow, look at this. Some. I'm, I'm absolutely curious. And I think I'm pretty safe here, despite how high up I am. Pretty sure I'm pretty safe. If I hop over to this and just climb it, climb it, climb it, climb it. Not bad. Look at this view. Just all around. So one thing I want to do just really quickly. Yes, I understand I'm going for another photo mode. But... Um, let's see. Uh, let's go for increase in brightness, decrease in saturation, increase in contrast. Let's go for filters. Let's go for black and white here with a uh, filmy grain texture. That's cool. Um, curious to see how many photos I have. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's five per row, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have 40 pictures. <laughs> there we go. I also made this one my profile picture because it's my most recent. <laughs> and you can see how the adventure has changed. You know, between level one and level five, we only have this one picture. No pictures between five and ten. Between 10 and 15, we had 4. <laughs> Between 15 and 20, we had 5. Between 20 and 25, we had a lot. We had uh, 11. <laughs> Between 25 and 30, we had 6. 30 and 35, we had 1. And between 35 and 40, so far, we have 4. Sorry, I just think that's super cool. And of course, this... Indigo. Do I engage? But of course. Fuck you, Wendigo. Wendigo still doesn't know where I am, which is great. Keep pegging, keep pegging. Yeet! Got him. Fucking got him. Normally these things are so hard to kill. Three stim packs. Oh my god. 
Super Stim, I can save you for later because, oh my god, we're saved. We're saved by five regular Stims. What a fucking sight. Now, that we've killed that fucking Wendigo. I wanna climb. Oh, damn it. I wanna climb these rocks again. Okay. I wanna climb these rocks again. It's good. I'm no longer fearing a Wendigo. But I'm gonna I'm gonna crouch just to make sure I'm not seen. And I'm gonna call it for episode 112 of Let's Play Fallout 76. We are going to continue in our direction to the Robo Brain near Rob Corp and see what else we can find down there. Don't hesitate to like and subscribe, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.